Hey! <coughs> it's us. Once again. I'm JT. I got my homeboy with me. Say something, Mike B. What it do? And that's what he says. Welcome to another. Sales. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know how that just came out. <laughs> that's what it says. <laughs> right Welcome to another quickie episode. Uh, how you doing, brother? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm doing all great. I was about to say, <laughs> I, I couldn't. <laughs> My mind wasn't what's, helping what's, me hey, out. Hey, what's going on right now? Oh, I, <laughs> I feel I, like I'm we, all right. <laughs> we need to have a, 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 a real talk, a come to Jesus moment. <laughs> you okay? Blink twice if you need, if you need my help. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm cool though. Right you know, er, everything's well uh, on this Sunday afternoon. Everything's everything's pretty good. That's good to hear. You know, uh, what happened to you during the week? <laughs> I just say, how you doing? I know. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna have to come back with you. <laughs> I didn't know you were gonna double back. Yeah, you and, know I'm gonna <laughs> do that U-turn. He, uh, he didn't give me a good enough answer. Let me go back and see if he has something else on his mind. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you should have known. <laughs> I would have told uh, you, you know. Okay. Uh, well, speaking of U-turns, uh, I know y'all saw, I think it was Thursday, uh, a driver uh, in New York City. Mm, right, right. Um, I don't know if it was uh, Thursday. Mister, uh, I, think it's, I think it was Thursday. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I think his name Richard Ramos. I think he's... Rojas. Uh, Rojas? Yes. Okay. Rojas. Go ahead. <laughs> roll, roll one more wall, goddammit. <laughs> Shit. And look, I probably loud and wrong. It probably is Ramos. Like, oh. You know? And I, like, I took you, I'm like, I, feel I like it's Ramos. So I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, okay, you just wanted to roll some extra wall. I, I, I feel like it was Rojas, but you know, whatever. Uh, uh, I think he's like 20, 26. Um, I think he's a vet. Yeah, from the Navy, yeah. Yeah. And so that might have had, well, let me tell you the story. He's driving down uh, Times Square in New York City. And, you know, you see the video of him just going going down the street like regular traffic, stopping at the light like everybody else. You know, and then when it's his turn at the, uh, at the stop line, stop light, he just makes a U-turn onto the sidewalk and just punches it. Man, I mean, it, it looks like a, a episode off of Grand Theft Auto, you know, when you play the game. All right, right. Cause I, I, I guarantee you, when I'm playing Grand Theft Auto, mm. I don't care about the people on the side. You don't have no love for nobody. <laughs> Police, about dog, nobody. Yeah. women, children. Hey, they just got got. And, and, and you and, do and, it just because it ain't the mission. You do it just you because do it just you can. <laughs> right. And so but, it felt like yeah, that. and it looked like that. I, I, I didn't feel it, <laughs> but I mean, this guy just. Just ran over people. Seemed like for the the next two blocks. I mean, and and not stopping or nothing. It, it's just he just punched it, mm-hmm. and I mean, people just I mean, just just running over people. And uh, sad to say, one it was one victim. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was plenty yeah, of victims. victims. Yeah, one it was one that got got died. Yeah, and uh, uh, it was uh, she was a tourist. It was her and her sister. Mm-hmm. I've got where they were from, but they they toured, so I'm pretty sure they went from New York. And so they, uh, I think, uh, because I don't know her injuries, but she she died, and I think the sister that's still alive, uh, she she's dead. Her sister injuries. got hit though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She she, it was it was plenty of people. If y'all seen that video, did you like? Is this real? Right. Is it seen? Is this? It, I'm gonna leave like a, a scene off a. Of, uh, fast and Furious or something. Mm-hmm. I mean, dude just did a simple U-turn. Like, okay, like they, somebody just turned on the switch. I, then, I guess, you know, I guess I do it here. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, and they said it uh, right now. They don't think it's nothing like a terrorist act or nothing. Dude, they said the dude had like PCP. He had yeah, taken he said some he PCP. did some marijuana PCP laced marijuana, mm-hmm. and then he also was expecting the cops to shoot him. You know, it was like, hey, was he trying to I martyr thought, himself? I, I guess so. You know, uh, suicide by cop. Yeah, but I don't know if it's a suicide when you kill all those other people first. Like this is, I, I it don't make I no don't sense. Understand. And know. he was a, uh, from what I understand, he was a, a citizen. 
So yeah. it wasn't like, you know, somebody from he a foreign country trying to... Trying to or something. I'm sure they, they probably spent all day trying to relate it to ISIS or some type of... Uh, one of those well, you know that's they, that's been their thing. Trying to relate the last to few months, you know, they uh, trucks and stuff going down a, a a row of people, right? You know, and I just it's it been like a, a in another country, uh, yeah, too, I think like, like Paris or yeah, something yeah. like that. You know, but it's I think it's it was been, another one other than Paris. It was, yep. Yeah. I remember you know, somebody had like a diesel. Somebody had like yeah. a, a, a regular truck, and just they just you know gunning. it seemed like they mm, just gun and say you know fuck the world and. That's where we are, and that's, that's you. You that's thought sad. the sidewalk was, was was safe. I never felt safe. Anytime I'm in New York, I never feel safe. It's, it's too many people. It's too much going on. I just I'm uncomfortable the entire wait, time. Wait, you you were comfortable with you know more than three people around there? Hey, wait, we ain't talking about me. Just like <laughs> like that. Like, I ain't, I ain't asked you to go in, brother. I'm just <laughs> saying, you know, shoot, you go uh, to the restroom, you might have a problem. Uh, Mike the problem. <laughs> okay, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was, I was just saying I'm uncomfortable in New York as it is. Yeah. Uh, so I'm always on alert. Any anywhere I go, I feel like I'm on. A, I, I, maybe I am the problem. You know, take a self evaluation, Mike. I need to. But they say take inventory on yourself. Yeah. Cause uh, yeah, you, you, you I mean that. I don't know. I go going y'all on y'all yeah, got yeah, to diagnose your ass and I, I ain't got the proper no, tool. Thank you. <laughs> what you need to do? Uh, <laughs> we be outside on the ground. You try to <laughs> try to come bury on. me. <laughs> come on, my B. Come on, sit. Ain't no lap sitting. <laughs> now you can roll me around in the mud, <laughs> but ain't no lap sitting. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got other two. <laughs> that's, that's, that's our, our initial go to. That's our go to. Let's get on the lawn and, and, and let me rock you to, to to whatever to healing. Damn it! Oh my goodness! Uh, but uh, uh, let's pray for the folks. They they you know they they were yeah they got hit. Yeah. And then you know hopefully and the they'll make a re- yeah like the family of the good. Uh, that's tragic. Even got, if you right. didn't get hit, you know. And I feel like any any anything like that, I would consider uh, domestic terrorism mm. because you, you. I think he said like I wanted to kill them all, so yeah. he was after or you know trying to attack these people. We knew what he was doing. Mm. He didn't slow down. He he stopped at that stoplight, so he knew yeah. to obey traffic at that point. Oh, he knew until he knew. it was go time. So to me, that's domestic terrorism. I don't know. Maybe he was smoking while he was driving, and it, it and then it, it just finally kicked in. Right. That wouldn't even be to me. Then, that wouldn't even be an excuse. I'm like, okay, you you still chose to smoke, mm-hmm. so hey, it's still terrorism. And my, it just mm. to me. And then I think he uh, he crashed. It, it like a it was like a metal barrier. You know how they have those barriers sticking out the ground. Mm-hmm. Uh, he crashed into that and then tried to get out. Uh, and some people stopped him. You're like, nah, brother. Oh, some uh, regular uh, pedestrians, mm-hmm. right on citizens on patrol. Right. Hey, that would well, if, if it was on a plane, it would have been me. But I don't know how I would react on the streets. You know, I, I don't prepare for that. But mm-hmm. anyway, um, shout out to those folk. Yeah, yeah. Because he could have had you know, like weapons or whatever, jumped out the car and start shooting people. You never know what, yeah, what's yeah, going yeah, through a person's yeah. mind, especially when they're under the influence. Yeah, and especially what he just did. So <laughs> yeah. Um, next on the on the news, uh, Steve Harvey. He's been in the news like the last week and a half. Uh, he, he's been on the news entirely too much for me the past <laughs> nine months, I would say. Ever since that damn trip to uh, the White House, I feel like oh, we've been okay. hearing about Steve Harvey. Well, it's the, he been in the news for me because, you know, the, the little Miss America pageant, that, that seemed like that oh, got him in the news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, of course, the, the, the White House thing. And then, like a week and a half ago, he, he like uh, the letter that he the memo out. he sent to us, yeah, it's his workers, <laughs> Chicago workers, yeah, you know, and it's uh, like he can't do, he can't get right. Oh, Steve Harvey can't get right right now. Hey, I, I, I don't know, maybe the the pressure getting to him, and you know, he like, hey, I'm, I'm talking about like, the letter as far as okay, the letter. The, you know. the, the, the letter to me was like, you know what, fuck it, <laughs> he he don't mm. care no more. Uh, excuse my French, dang, something in my eye, but. He just like you know I don't even, I don't even care anymore. Just I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna do what's best for me. Forget it. Forget mm. everybody else. And maybe you have to be that way sometimes. 
<laughs> and bothering me yeah. while I'm trying to find my chi, mm -hmm. whatever that is. And, and so I, I guess it got to a point where, you know, they were doing too much. Right. But anyway, uh, this time we find out that his ex-wife, the one I've been hearing stories about her for the ever since they got a divorce. You know, she's suing him for like 60 mil. Mm -hmm. Mary. Uh, that her name? Yeah. Mary. Mary Harvey. That was too weak. <laughs> Mary. <laughs> Because <laughs> I think it's like current, every third his woman current wife is named Marjorie, I believe. Oh, he's so, like M. I guess so. M -A -R. Well, like, then they have like a, a, another wife that started with an M. Don't don't take me down that road. <laughs> I'm gonna lie, bro. <laughs> and I ain't trying to lie today. Well, Sunday. She I think she uh I, I wrote it down because I she said it was uh for prolonged torture with the affliction of severe mental uh I don't, I, pain and suffering. She said he killed her soul. Yeah, she yeah, said, the, yeah, that, so relationship, that relationship, and I'm sure the divorce, and then I guess he got the kids. He got everything I mean, he really wanted really out of the relationship. Mm -hmm. And then she was just left there like, what just happened? Mm -hmm. So she's like, he, he he got my soul. So I could understand her feeling some type of way. And what kind of, I guess you would have to be in the relationship to understand why he would want to take the kids. Like, you ain't even worthy of keeping the kids. I don't trust you with that. And you're the mother, mm. so I, I don't know. I don't know if she, uh, if this would took her to that mental state, or if she had mental problems before, and he called in early. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't know, because uh, I think she could try to commit suicide. Mm -hmm. She said she uh, by pills. Uh, doping up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, life ain't. I guess life wasn't worth living anymore. I think she hit bottom once he took her son, and uh, I, to me, I feel like that's that what it would crazy. be like being with a celebrity. You know, especially if that's not something that you're used to and the person that you're with, like, blow up. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden things are different and then they have all this power behind them and you just little old you. Mm -hmm. And it's like, <laughs> again, what happened? And you got the, the means and the resources to make whatever you want happen mm -hmm. and then affect me too. I feel like that's the, you know, what she's going through right now. Maybe she should have found an outlet. Besides drugs and open people. Well, I mean, uh, like, do something constructive. With her life, does she have a profession? Uh, is she? Does she I don't do want to lie thing? again. But I mean, you know, keep her occupied. You know, because some people, you know, like you said, you know, you you with a celebrity and you just there and mm. you feel worthless. You know, you feel some type of some type of way. Mm -hmm. You know, do something to do you to occupy your. Time. You know, yeah. I would want you know I wouldn't want my. You know, my wife to just be sitting at home. I mean, unless she choose to be happy right, doing right. it. Is she okay with You know, it? but if not, and you just feeling depressed, now, go go out. But See I also, the world. I also, Fulfill all your right. fitness. You, I mean, you got money, so you can do whatever you really yeah, you know, want to start do. start a business. But I don't know if the depression happened while she was in a relationship or once it ended. You yeah, know? That, that's what I'm saying. He didn't know she was crazy before or after. You mm -hmm. know, and he, as I said, if he caught it on... Uh, called it, uh, called called early it, yeah, and yeah. said, you know, I don't want my kid around you because then they only got a son together and, and and whatnot. So how do you know how old she was? How old she is? I mean, I think she's around the same age. I think I don't between know how fifty-five old. and six. he's sixty. Oh, is he okay? And so I, I think she's in her late fifties, if I'm not. But mistaken. she said, my, "My he murdered my soul." Like that's yeah, soul like who, who you really don't say that. Maybe too she often. need to be a poet. You know, oh. that's old poet talk talk. You just murdered my soul. I guess maybe Possibly. she was feeling feeling some type of way. So I hope she she gets whatever she gets out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, to to I make can't her feel her better. Getting Sixty million. I, I don't think I, you, you know, know, but I, I hope she gets some help. Right, some relief, some something some, to yes, you know something. to where she's not feeling like this no more. They he done took a soul and stepped mm -hmm. on it or something, you know. To, to where she's healthy, her mind is healthy, and you know she can move on, you know, and he ain't the the only thing in America. And she's not, you know, constantly thinking about what he did to yeah. her. She can, you know, proceed with her life. She might, she yeah, might need to, her son re, you know, reintroduce herself to Jesus. She can have that moment too, you know. And so, hope up, something, especially Maybe when you say he, he murdered my soul. <laughs> so, yeah, you, know. you 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 got something else. Somebody to have that effect on you to where they even touching. Tapping into your soul. Mm. Uh, might have to put her on the prayer list. Uh, we can do that. We ain't, we ain't uh, added nobody to the prayer list in a while. I, I think. I think uh, the last time we talked about the but, prayer list, we was removing. <laughs> Shug, <laughs> Shug Knight. Oh, he was done. We, we couldn't he was do over. No can't do. Yeah. Uh, speaking of comedians, um, Omoni. 
Mm. Since the last time we talked, she been in the news. She done ran it. Mm -hmm. Uh, And uh, I ain't gonna say it's old news, but I I knew about the subject. But I, you know, she she really made it plain this time. Mm -hmm. You know, she felt some type of way about uh, Lee Daniels, Oprah, and and Tyler Perry. Mm -hmm. You know, and right now they like the biggest producers and and directors as far as black in our community. Yeah, and so. Uh, you know, I, I guess uh, what was the movie Pressure she did, mm-hmm. and uh, and she, I guess the whole story is she didn't promote it like they wanted to, and and so she's saying that she she she's getting blackballed by them or you know not getting offered any roles since then because they didn't play she didn't play the game right you know she was like you know I, I'm not getting paid for this you know going out and you know I I guess on the uh, What's the word? I'm um, a promotion tour, right. or whatnot, and so you know, I I I, I, I want to be our family, right, right, right? Yeah, I shouldn't be obligated to do this, and y'all y'all feeling some type of way, and then she's saying that they saying that she you know she was hard to work with, and all of that, and, and she's saying you know basically spreading rumors or lies about it, you know that's coming from her, mm-hmm. and, and you know and she I guess it came to a point, uh, doing her uh comedy, uh, stand say, up skit, stand up or. Uh, a special that she had and just went off mm-hmm. and she said you know all of them can suck my dick if I had one right and I'm like you do you okay <laughs> I don't know if you usually hear that you mm-hmm. know uh, and I think a lot of people were offended that you know she brought Oprah into it because maybe they didn't know the backstory mm-hmm. you know surrounding but we don't know how Oprah, Oprah is right right that's what I'm saying you know she could be but people know fuck. people know Oprah and so mm-hmm. they look at her when you think of Oprah like you know she's doing big things you know she's helping our you know a, a positive light in our community mm-hmm. uh, the same with Tyler Perry you mm-hmm. know when she brought Tyler Perry's name into it people were like you know what's the beef because they didn't know the story behind it yeah and I think that's why a lot of people were offended. Uh, but I'm like, I mean, you don't know she, her she, relationship with Oprah. You don't know but, the relationship she had with Tyler Perry to bring her or drive her to this. this well, moment. Oprah, she Oprah was the producer of The Butler, and she was offered a role in that. And then I guess it was rescinded. And uh, and I think that's was the, the relationship I thought the, the Butler Oprah. was a Lee Daniels, but it was film produced too. by it was a, it was produced by Oprah, but Lee Daniels was the director. Okay. And so, as far as Tyler Perry, I don't know. You know, I don't know the, the like the backstory behind. Or maybe she she was offered a part in hit one of his movies. Who knows? And and then it was rescinded on on, on that end. But mm-hmm. you know, she she's feeling some type of way. And, you and know, I, nowadays you know people don't re, people really don't care about your status anymore. You know, if, if you got a, a a a problem with somebody, and to me that's healthy anyway. Go ahead right. and and you know. I agree. Mm-hmm. Let it out so instead of holding it in, on. especially when uh, the way Monique presented it is is as if you know her and Lee Daniels had a friendship, her mm-hmm. and Oprah Winfrey had a friendship. Yeah. So you you know your friends, mm-hmm. and if like you offend me, I I'm gonna say what I need to say to you. Mm-hmm. You know, however I need to say it to the point where you get how you know I guess deep you hurt me or deep you cut me, and yeah. I think you would respect that because you know me. Mm-hmm. And so maybe that was just her reaching out and out. Yeah. Now it seemed extreme <laughs> to say, uh, but, but she did it her way though. She did that, her because that's she's, how Monique, she, Monique she's talk, gutter but. comedy. Like we we know that. Yeah. And so it it's surprising the people that she brought into the conversation, mm-hmm. but the conversation itself didn't surprise me. Yeah, yeah. And you know, usually people don't go after you know Oprah because that's right. the people it's with like, the money. Exactly. You know? And so it's like, okay, you talking about being blackballed? Like you really? Gonna be blackballed after this, but again, you're talking to people that you consider your friends, and if you were that mm-hmm. hurt, you don't care. Yeah, I mean, there's just no holds bar. So hopefully they uh get that straight. But you really haven't seen her. I think the only thing I've seen her since Precious, like in a movie, was uh, that Christmas movie that right, came right. out like a year or two ago. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, but that was done by I forgot his. He's another black director. He does he does a lot of uh, movies too. Um, Ah, it escapes me. He, he does. Anyway, he, he he's good. Okay. You know, I, I, I you know I've, I've heard him. I about to say heard him talk, <laughs> speak words. But you know, he, <laughs> he seemed like a cool dude. What's his I, name? I don't know who he's talking about, so I can I can look it up. What's they it was name? actually because uh, actually the cast was on on Family Feud with Steve Harvey, uh, the, the director of Almost Christmas. Right. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you know this. Um, <laughs> this it can go either way. She can, you know, David E. Talbot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe her career can soar after this, or 
It can go it really in a, in, But you know, I think in she'll still always have her comedy to fall back on. Yeah, because well, that is, you know, you can be control that. of that. Right. You know, that, that's just you and the people. Right. And unless the people, it's the promoter, you know, then unless the promoter going to blackball your ass, then I don't know what to do. Maybe you can be If, if you got Oprah and Tyler Perry and Lee Daniels calling, like, clubs, like, don't let her in. That's, now, they doing, that's they petty doing too, Yeah, they're, they're doing too much. That's childish. Uh, the new phenomenon might be hitting these summer streets. Summer streets? These summer streets. Okay. Uh, male romper. Should, I don't think it's a phenomenon. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be... Well, you know what? It might be. Because I was saying the same thing about uh, skinny jeans. I'm like, brothers ain't going to be wearing that bullshit. But we got hip-hop hip stars. We got everybody wearing these skinny jeans as if this a thing. Man, dudes wearing just, just female shit, period. Yeah, you seen that uh little Uzi, Uzi Vert he had on that blouse? Or dress type deal. It, no. <laughs> it, it who, didn't have who, men written on it at all. Who? Lil Uzi Vert. I don't know. Oh, who my friends heard it. The the. Oh, I've, I've, yeah. I've heard that song, but yeah. I, I don't know the person. He, you know, he does like a. Uh, yeah, it, it almost. I don't know. It, it's hip hop. The one person but I know that kind of like, crosses the line a lot of times as far as fashion mm, is a uh, young thug. Young thug, because you know he even yeah. admitted that he wears women's clothing. So, or he shops in the women's clothing. I don't, section. I don't see the fascination with wearing blouses and 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 dresses, but you know, to each his own. It, hell, but it may I be ain't. just like well, when celebrities do it, a lot of times I think it's just to kind of push, you know, uh, an agenda or push mm -hmm. people's buttons. And get attention for yourself because they blame it when on you stylist. listen to the music, you don't remember about the the dresses and the, the girls' tight jeans or whatever. Uh, well, you can't. So if you listen to it, you ain't really thinking about it. When right. You're just listening, but if you see that shit, right. you're like, oh. But see, I don't, I don't see because well, I don't. I mean, I really the only time I listen to music is when you play music yeah. or my brother play music. Other than that, I don't be knowing what the hell's going on. And so you know that that's the that was a big issue. So you trying to say you ain't you ain't. Gonna I, I'm here. not here for you ain't. I'm not. No I'm not. I'm not here for the rompers. Might be you ain't gonna see my ass running. <laughs> right, oh, short jumpsuit set. <laughs> Come I mean, in on. But if you think of it as like some cover up. No. 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 I, I can't even entertain it. Balls <laughs> semi hanging out. Hey. We need the breather. No, breather man, machine. No. <laughs> <laughs> Convince yourself, nigga. I, <laughs> I ain't got time. I do not have time. I'm I'm wondering if it will actually if catch on. I, I can't. I don't think I will see somebody like personally that I know wearing anything like that. But I, I'm pretty sure if you know in, in Kansas City, you know you probably have to go a certain part of town, oh, to see possibly. It, but it's just not out and about. And you know, like if you I go to Atlanta, I'm pretty sure you go oh, yeah. see. Uh, we went to Atlanta. We saw people, men in high heels. So I know <laughs> in Atlanta you probably see it. But I don't think I go anywhere where people feel like. I mean, if you want to wear it, that's up to you. Yeah. But I don't. I don't think I've been anywhere where people would wear high heels or tight skinny jeans or. Uh, Rompers. I don't, Where did this come from? I don't know. I never even heard the word rompers until this week. I mean, yeah, when it's associated with women, yes. I, I even with women, I never even heard of it. It just seeing it, it just looks like something women wear. Like this is women clothes, but yeah. I, I, I didn't know the name for it. I'm not here for it at all. How, how do you go to your mama's house with a romper? You on? you probably don't. <laughs> you probably you know. put on some jeans for that visit. And then you wear rompers, you know, to the, the picnic with your your, your friends. I, I don't know. Mm. It, it might pick up. I'm, I'm thinking because I, I, I'm pretty sure it will, just because you know. And you know what? All it's going to all it's going to take is like Young Thug out here with, and then who who? Oh, little Uzi Vert. Yeah, him wearing a romper, and then you know people will accept it a little bit more, mm. and that's all it takes. But like, why? That's what I want to know. Why? Like maybe what well, I I've never wanted to wear a woman's like clothing that I believe is meant for women to be to express myself mm -hmm. and I, I I just don't understand it. Uh, but to each his own. It, I don't have to understand it. It ain't me. Uh, I'm just saying, don't I, do it, JT. I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you still, you still on this shit. <laughs> 
Because I think that would be so funny. <laughs> oh, I bet I, I bet it would. It'd be fun if your ass waddled in here with they old Robert. Waddled. <laughs> waddled. Uh, I don't think they'd be my size. I'm just going to say that. Uh, Even if they did, I'd burn it. Shit. I, I'll buy one just like it and throw that one in the trash. <laughs> my, my brother... I know he don't want me talking about this, mm-hmm. but my brother came in and his, his jeans, they got like at the bottom, mm-hmm. elastic. So they kind of like. Oh, yeah, that's, that, was, that was in style. For is it? Yeah, my, my nephew I ain't had never, a couple of pairs. Okay. He had that like was a khaki uh, style or something like jeans. Look like. Yeah. I said, are those jean leggings you're wearing, brother? <laughs> that's what yeah, I thought it, they it's were. It's almost like, uh, it almost, how it looked like, it's almost like jogging pants, but they're yeah, yeah, but yeah. It's regular jean material or pants material. Uh, but they look like jean material. I don't yeah. know what it is. I, I didn't touch it, but I had questions. I'm like, mm-hmm. what's going on? Um, um, but evidently, this is, these you are don't safe, know what, I You guess. don't know what's out in these streets, man. I, I don't. I, I guess I have to get out and not to the bar. But that <laughs> was back when he was in high school. somewhere else. like, Three, three, four, five years. So you saying my brother Man. wearing old shit? No, I'm saying you, uh, <laughs> you out the note, brother. <laughs> you the problem, Mike. <laughs> Again, back yeah. to that. <laughs> it's a cycle, people. <laughs> oh man, looks like that's all we have for you. Uh, we'll be back with another Yana probably sometime in the middle of the week. Uh, what's this episode three? Uh, of with yeah, the family alive. Family alive. Yeah. With all the, the, the daughter and the and the sister. Yeah, they finally the, wrap the, it up. We'll yeah. see if they actually get some, some help. Yeah. If they get it anywhere, actually. So uh anything else which it might be? No, sir. Till next time. Peace. <laughs>